Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdul Aziz Ahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If previously I use Chip Navigation Library with Kotlin project, in this video I'll try to use Chip Navigation Library with Java. But before we are going to the main topic of this video, I am so grateful if you want to click the subscribe button to make this channel growing up. Okay, thank you so much and let's get started with my video. Okay guys, for the very first, we need to create a new project, let's say chip navigation bar or something like that. Okay, and just create. Alright, we have create our project and the next step is we need to declare our dependencies so we need to check in the github okay and this is the chip navigation bar library so we scroll down and we can see this copy this and then we need to paste here in build gradle so we give comment here and we back to github and we can see here for project without Kotlin you may need to add this we can see so we need to copy this and we back to Android Studio and let's say we need to import this and we need to replace this Kotlin version 1.3 point 70 all right and sync now all right and we have success and we need to go to main activity dot xml right here and we need to delete this text view and we need to replace this constraint layout to relative layout and we need to call our chip navigation here and for the width we set it to match parent and for the height we set it might be let's say 72 db all right and we need to align parent bottom set to true so our chip navigation bar should be in the bottom of our screen and the next is we need to set our background so let's say we want to make uh, our background to be rounded on the top left corner and then top right corner so we need to declare or we need to create a new drawable resource so we go to resource and then right click on the drawable and then new and let's say rounded and from here we need to delete this and we say shape and inside this shape we need to call solid and we call color and we need to declare new color let's say color primary dark and we call corners I'm sorry and let's say let top left radius maybe 24 dp and then top right corner 24 dp all right and we go to colors value so click here and we need to declare a new color and copy this all right and we see like this and we back to our activity main and we call here rounded so it's so awesome so need to minimize this and we can see how awesome it is alright and let's say we want to add like elevation maybe 16 dp and then padding I'm sorry just padding and we set it to 8 dp and the last is we need to I'm sorry and we call GNB menu resource so we say menu menu bottom but we haven't yet declare 
menu resource file so we need to create right click on the rest and then new android resource directory and then we select menu as usual and then right click on the menu directory and then we need to create menu resource file and let's say menu underscore button all right and from here we need to declare all the item we need to show in the chip navigation bar let's say home and then discover and the last is account so inside this menu we need to create item and we close and then we need to declare id and we give id maybe home and then we give icon so we need to import our icon to our project paste on the drawable you can use your icon maybe you can use svg so we need to import our svg file to drawable all right so we call here home and we see this icon and then we need to declare so we see this warning so create namespace declaration i'm sorry we need to press alt plus enter and we say so for the color we say white and then we need to declare text color so let's say white again all right and for the background color gnb background color we say all right so you can see all these attribute in the github right here so we can see here on the menu item icon color icon tint mode and title and more so we haven't yet declared title so let's say home all right and we need to make it smaller okay and we need to copy this two time and change to discover and this to account and this to discover and this to account and here is account and here is discover all right we have declared our item menu okay so we need to go to menu here so let's say so let's say we set unselected color to be white so when our chip navigation bar haven't yet select it should be white okay just as simple as that we need to close this all right and we go to styles and we need to remove action bar so we say no action bar all right and we need to run our app okay and as we can see on the right side we see menu and then discover and the last is account okay so as we can see it's work fine in our java project but we haven't yet try about how do we implement like set on click listener in our java project so i think enough for this section in the next video maybe we want to talk more 
and we want to explore this library in our Java project. Okay, thank you so much. And if you have any questions or comment, write it down on the comment field. And if you want to see how my code look likes, link in the description below. Thank you so much and see you again on the next video.